Thank you. I'm very happy to be here with you today. And that's really important for me because I think that new discoveries will be at the link between different uh, disciplines, so the biology and physics, optics. It's a way to have innovative uh, therapies. And that's what I would like to talk about today, especially for the Parkinson disease, which is a very boring disease for, for patients. And nowadays, we have nothing for them. And we'll, I will explain to you how we can maybe have a solution. But first of all, I would like to present you where I'm working. So I'm working at Clinatech, which is part of CA Grenoble. And our goal is to create new healthcare, uh, technology, new healthcare technology and solution. In fact, we have got various parts in a building where medical doctors came. They asked us for a need for uh, a disease for which they have no solution. And with engineers, with technicians, we try to find a new technology which could help them. We will make propositions, test them on biological things, on technological point of view. And if results are interesting, we can go to clinical trial because we have got part of the building which is a hospital part. And all this team all together are able to give a real innovative uh, research because uh, everybody is in the same place and can discuss all together. And this really speed up the applications for patient care. So this is a first example I would like to talk about today, and this is for Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease. So it means that specific neurons, dopaminergic neurons, will die. We have nowadays no curative treatments, only symptomatic ones, which means that we are only able to treat symptoms for patients, but only for a while, because after some time, we'll have secondary effects and we'll not be able anymore to uh, to avoid the, if the, the symptoms. So there is a real need for innovative therapies to at least slow down the neurodegenerative process. It means to slow down the death of neurons. And light could be a solution. What's light? In fact, what's photobiomodulation? Photobiomodulation is treatment with light. The light is the medicine as you will take a pill, but it's a physical therapy. And this could be neuroprotective. This is uh, the main thematic of the NIR project for knee infrareds, which was initiated by Professor Benabit, worldwide known for the um, Parkinson's disease, sorry, and uh, with uh, Professor John Mitrofanis from the Histology uh, Laboratory of Sydney. And together, they discussed and thought that maybe it could be a way to treat patients. In fact, light will activate a specific proteins inside the cells, inside the mitochondria, and it will increase the production of ATP. ATP is, let's say, the energy molecule of the cell. And so if cells have more energy, they will better resist to various stress. And so we hope that it will help uh, for the, the neurodegenerative process to slow it down. So what I'm talking about is really a long time research. It's 10 years of progressive research. So first of all, we tested things on cells culture, on Parkinson models. And I would like to uh, today talk for the most striking results we had. So you've got here a graph of clinical score. Clinical score is like for patients, but here it's used for preclinical models. You have various e items. You will score them, and you will add these various scores. And if you have got a zero score, it means somebody or a model with healthy. If you have got a big clinical score, something like 70, uh, you've got really big symptoms, big clinic, uh, Parkinsonian symptoms. So we took animals, 
we induced them some Parkinsonian symptoms with uh, a neurotoxin. And you have got in the first uh, graph in black, animals which were not treated. They had very high clinical scores, which mean high Parkinson's symptoms. On the contrary, on the red curve, we add the light on the head of these animals. So they were still Parkinsonians, but with less symptoms. And these behavioral results were confirmed with histology. It means that at the end of the experiment, we looked at neuro, um, dopaminergic neurons, the neurons which died in Parkinson's disease. And in the animals with the light, we had much more uh, dopaminergic neurons, which means that the light really protected these animals. All these results were confirmed in various models. We had numerous uh, papers in peer review papers. We had some presentation in Congress. We had also some patents. Because after this clinical result, we went to the second part of the project, which was to conceive uh, a device, a medical device, for patients, of course, uh, to, to bring the light into the brain of the patient in order to protect the brain and their dopaminergic neurons. So we conceived this, uh, this system, this medical device, based on doctor needs. We then produced it and qualified it. We did biological tests to ensure that it was safe, that it was efficient. And we also qualify it on a technological point of view to ensure it was reliable. And so with all of this, we had a device which was qualified safe, and we were able to submit a clinical trial file, which was accepted last year for what we call a first-in-man clinical trial. First-in-man means kind of a proof of concept first clinical trial on a small number of patients. So we'll have something like 14 patients, which is quite a lot for a first in man clinical trial. And we will bring the light to patients and we hope that it will help uh, to slow down the disease. So we have got here in the, in the screen uh, the, the device by itself, so you have got a power supply which will be implanted, like for uh, usual therapies. Then the optical part will be inserted into the skull and uh, linked to an optical fiber which will bring the light into the head of patient. This is already done uh, with electricity and not light to slow down symptoms. This is what we call deep uh, brain stimulation, which is quite classical for Parkinson treatment, but it's only for symptoms. And here, we really hope that light will help, help to slow down the disease and to cure it. The first implantation is planned uh, for this year. We have got a first objective of feasibility to ensure that it, everything is okay and that it's safe for the patient. And second objective for us is uh, to, ensure, to, to look at the therapeutic potential of photobiomodulation. So does patients with the light are going to have a disease uh, which slow down? And to conclude, uh, I really want to um, focus on the fact that uh, photobiomodulation seems to have quite a universal effect. It means that it can be a solution for Parkinson's disease and if, if it is, it will be also a very good opportunity for other neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease, but also for other medical fields we maybe did not explore yet. So it will really open the path to new therapeutic solutions. I hope this was interesting for you and I will be very happy to answer all of your questions. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.